The answer to the puzzle of why twins with the same genes can be different weights seems to be this. Spectre now believes it's not enough just to have a gene, it has to be activated or switched on. And the larger twin had her fat gene switched on where her thinner sister hadn't. Something is switched in them. It's just uh, switched some of their genes from one position to another and that has altered what's happened to their metabolism. And because they're so similar, our idea is we can track down what that, those chemicals are and what those genes are that have been changed between the two. This new science of how the environment can switch your genes on and off is becoming more and more important across modern medicine. It's called epigenetics. But the question now is what was causing these genes to be switched on or off? Spectre has been looking for something that sets one twin's experience apart from that of the other. Maybe got a bit more attention, had to go to hospital um, with my mum and so I suppose I had stresses early on, didn't I, in my life? Yeah, yeah. When did any changes, you know, when do, when do you think the changes occurred or you noticed any differences between you? I think the changes happened when she got married and moved away. I was married, but I had family closer to me. Angela didn't have any family closer to her. And I think that's possibly when it, yeah. the change I occurred. I think that's probably when it did. I'm just aware as we're talking to, to these ladies that there are so many things that might go on at any one time between the lives of two different women. How do we know that we're not just randomly selecting factors that could be confounded by hundreds of other factors? You're absolutely right. And taking one pair, a snapshot, if you like, of your life, in retrospect, which is full of perhaps false memories, is not a reliable way of doing science. Mm. So none of what I'm saying is, is going to be based on one or two mm. twin stories only by doing this systematically across hundreds of twins to see what the common factors are. And Spectre uh, thinks he's seeing some and common and factors in with, all with, his twins. Well, we, you didn't really put his theory much, is that no, stress can, seven, can create three. parallel but different right. destinies. And what was interesting was three out of the five pairs yeah. did yeah. give us a story of how, when they were put under stress, they reacted differently. For me, what's so yeah, exciting really about Spectre's work is that if he can understand what turns the fat switch on, he might find a way to turn it off again, to stop obesity in its tracks. I think it's very exciting if we look into the future. We already know many of the genes are responsible for obesity. We're going to find hundreds and thousands more. But the key to this is how we can change those genes. What Professor Spector was saying quite strongly to the twins today was even if something has happened to predispose one of you to putting weight on where the other one has been free of that, this is not set in stone and you could do things, although it might be difficult, which could reverse whatever signal has taken place which has led to one of you being fatter and one of you being thinner. <laughs>